Well, there is nothing quite like this occasion. Welcome to the UEFA Champions League final. The best two teams in Europe this season preparing to go head-to-head -head for the crowd. This is Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined, as always, on these big occasions by the former Arsenal and England defender, Lee Dixon. I certainly can't wait for this, Lee. Well, we started with 32 teams, Derek. Seems like an eternity ago. Now we're down to the best two. I've not played in the Champions League final. I surely wish I was playing tonight. Turn the clock back let me run out there, please. It is the game that the world truly focuses on. The Champions League final. Only two teams left in the quest for European glory. Who's it going to be tonight, Lee? Well, it's a toss of a coin for me. It's a really big night for everybody. All that hard work leading up to pre-season training, going through your domestic league, playing Champions League on and off, the winter break, all of that culminates in tonight. Very, very big night for everybody concerned. Supporters, but most so the players. They have to stay focused, play the game, not the occasion. There's no getting away from it. This is a true cathedral of football, Old Trafford, and one of the best pitches you'll find anywhere. Yeah, it is. It's uh, very reminiscent of the Arsenal pitch I used to play on. Brilliant, brilliant surface. And that looming stand opposite, the Sir Alex Ferguson stand, it just goes skyward forever. This is it, the Champions League final. They are underway. Who will be crowned club kings of Europe? A look then at the starting 11. The emphasis very much on the positive league. Yeah, very much so. A narrow three in midfield with a number 10 supporting the two main strikers. A back four spread across the pitch. The fullbacks need to supply the width, but they also need to worry about defensively as well. Kessier has it. Bonaventura, Chananolu, Ibrahimovic. Ibrahimovic, blocked by Bonucci, we've seen it before. He's driven in the corner and, and fisted away. Fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. And Milan's lineup looks like this. The goalkeeper is the precocious Gianluigi Donnarumma. Alessio Romagnoli plays alongside Simon Kerr in central defence. Giacomo Bonaventura plays. Ibrahimovic! Well, it was straight at the keeper, but technically good goalkeeping. Bonaventura with it. Given away by Milan. Matuidi moving the ball forward with purpose. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Higuain. Shot attempted. And the keeper would have been disappointed had he not dealt with it. He's given a corner, they referee. And over comes the corner. No nonsense clearance. Pjanic. And he takes on the shot. A very high degree of difficulty for any goalkeeper. Sheer quality. Quality of the shot and certainly quality of the save.
Short corner favoured. Splendid tackle, and the outcome is a corner here. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. He's gone for power, but might be regretting that now, Lee. Oh, my. Why? How? So many questions. On and on he goes. And that is how to tackle inside your own penalty area. Here's Ronaldo. Quadrado. Teammates could potentially join in. Kativa. It's driven in low. And with that, they take the lead. Well, just look at the celebrations, Derek. The fans are starting to believe it's theirs. Well, just look at this. They all back off him, and he takes the advantage. He goes through one, two, three. In the end, it's a wonderful solo goal. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. One nil then. Number seven, Cristiano Ronaldo. Bonaventura with it. It's with Chalanolu. He's going forward well here. Ibrahimovic, aware of the threat, solving the problem. Kessier has it. Samu Castillejo. Chalanolu. And across the touchline, so a throw in here. Conti has it. Ibrahimovic. Now Matuidi. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. Dybala. Fine sequence of passes. De Ligt. Matuidi. Alexandro it's with Dybala gorgeous ball from Dybala Higuain Matuidi Dybala three minutes. Well, quite simply the cross was too close to the keeper given away Matuidi Gliding through the gears. Half time then, and we're sorry for the pause in the proceedings here, Lee, because this has been a thoroughly riveting Champions League final so far. Well, it has. Great game. Sometimes finals can be cagey affairs, but not this one. Let's hope Derek in the second half we get more of that. It's been really, really entertaining. minutes separating these two sides from glory the second half of the Champions League final begins and he's going to be disappointed with that pass now Matuidi and they'll have to throw it back in play it's with Chalanolu Rebic has it. 
Ibrahimovic. And now Chalanola, surely the equaliser. Well, a moment he would dearly love to have back. Well, listen, he's tried to hit it too hard. Just relax a little bit, focus on your technique. Here's Bonucci, Pjanic, Pjanic now, and keeping hold of the ball is what it's all about for them. Higuain, crossing possibilities, changing position away from the touchline, Higuain, Pjanic distributing brilliantly, just couldn't capitalise there, so after that a goal kick it'll be. Much defensive cover there on the flank. Ramsey has it. Failed to keep hold of it. Sliding it through, Quadrado. Higuain. Delivering it into the box. Intense pressure. There was no match for Matuidi. The referee's letting it go. Shot attempted. He's gone for power lead, but it's wide. Well, no real direction, but the power was there. And you're right, it's just gone past the post. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Bonaventura. It's with Chananolu. different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored so a level contest 1-1 one, one. Pjanic, Ramsey, Ramsey has it, Higuain, that's a very impressive piece of defending, on the ball Rafael Leao, it is a decent looking attack here, and he's in, and they know well, fabulous celebrations. They've got their noses in front, Derek. Can they stay there? Well, it's a beautifully crafted goal. The supply line worked perfectly there, and he finishes it off with ease. Lovely goal. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we?
the game has been restarted. It's Milan in front here. Just 10 minutes to go. Alexandro. Ramsey. Kea. And Biglia. Well, there's still scope for late drama here. Five minutes left, and just one goal between the sides. Hernandez. Ante Rebic has it. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Well, he was in the right place to intercept. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. Three minutes of heavy time. Ante Rebic has it. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. It's with Gonzalo Higuain. And the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. And Lee, memories are being made. Yeah, absolutely. It doesn't matter how much money you've got in the bank. Players will always look back at moments like these. These moments where you pick trophies up and win medals. Absolutely brilliant for this group of players. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. And they know what comes next. The presentation of the cup with the big ears. Well, you just think how many games they've played this season as well. All that's in the past now. The game that's just happened was the most important one. They're all poised. The Champions League winners. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. And this is really special, getting to celebrate in front of your own fans. Well, it's giving something back. These fans have travelled all over the place following their team. Now they get to join in the celebrations, go into the crowd and give them the cup, that's what I say. Well, then it might never find its way to the trophy cabinet, Lee. Well, they've come together in this competition as a team, and they're celebrating together now, fully deserved. And you are looking at the best club side in Europe.